Michael the Archangel is is a patron saint to the Navy SEALs. Do you know this prayer? Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all those these wicked spirits that move throughout the world. These these entities will pay a high price when they dare get near God's children. And you're God's child. Your prayers, see, every time they do that, they risk being tossed into the furnace forever. And so this is their, their job. They serve underneath this wicked beast. And he's a beast. But we have to be, you're, you're different. Jesus often references sheep all the time. And when Jesus goes and leaves to find that one rescue sheep, which I was, but I've gone to other levels. So what would that be? Well, when he's gone looking for that sheep, that lost sheep, he's got sheep dogs that got wolf in them and that will kill any of them that come near those sheep. We defend them. We... We protect them. They're also wolves. They have converted. And that's a different type of guy. That guy, he's lethal. So you've got the wolves coming in. You've got converted wolves. They know how they hunt. And then you've got the sheepdog. This is how it's got to be to take them out. And he's allowing us to step up like David, you know, got this wrong the other day. It was uh, Samuel, I said, Jeremiah. It was Nathan, blah, 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 but it's Samuel. Samuel, the prophet, goes and finds this, uh, it's told that out of this man's home is going to be one of the heads, of, uh, it's going to be the head of uh, king of Israel. So he goes and meets all the boys, and he says, none of these are going to be the head of Israel. And then the father, he asked the father, by chance you have another kid? He says, yeah, back. Can you imagine the father didn't even think nothing of his own son? David, he's outside, he's a sheep herder. It's nothing. Man, I want to be a sheep herder like that. I want to love God in a profound way that when I was 16 years old and they were talking smack about my God, that ain't going to happen around me. So... I said, I'm going to go down and I'm going to kill this son of a bitch, Goliath. After I kill him, you're going to come around and take him out. But David was, what, what was profound, it was like, nobody talks about my father this way. Nobody. He loved them that much. Can you imagine our good God? He's not loved enough by us. He will gladly send his 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 armies to protect us we don't love him enough the things that i have in this life my 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 wife my children that that family that's it with with god to me i love beautiful things love lamborghini and all that but hey listen if i have to give it back fine done it's over and there are a lot of wolves and sheep's clothing in our uh, this modern day Christianity. It's fake. That, and and it, it's in the church, it's in the clergy, it's in the bishops, pastors. They they'll tell you. But the one that hits me is the one where I I know God's here, you know? Now, people can say, Jim, you just don't know the Bob. Get out. It's what you do. Faith without your works is dead. First James. So many people say, but they don't do.